First, I want to say thanks for landing on my page today. I'm going to go over uh, my little project that I've been working on. I'm doing a, a no prep uh, drag car. So this is going to be a multi-part, you know, series where I just show you different steps as I'm going through and adding things to it. Now I already started off doing a couple of things that are really basic. Um, I'll tell you guys what I've done to the car so far and which car I started off with. Alright, so if you like what I'm doing, um, do me a favor and uh, like and subscribe and share that if you like, okay? Alright, folks, so I'm going to start off with what I started off with. So, the no prep uh, drag cars, it's a really fun new class that's been going on for the past couple of years. Um, you can really get into it on the cheap, it's really nice. Lots of upgrades, lots of basic stuff you can get. Um, Pro lines doing a lot of stuff for it, and a lot of other companies, and a whole bunch of like uh, you know DIY people that are making stuff for this, this class. So um, it's a lot of stuff you can get. So with that being said, let me tell you the road I decided to take. Now, I wanted, I was going to originally go to the way of the slash build. Uh, I decided to not go slash. So what I decided to do was to go bandit. And let me tell you why I went bandit instead of slash. And I went the basic bandit. So I didn't get the the VXL bandit. I got the shitty basic bandit. And the reason I got the basic bandit because the basic bandit is more narrow. And one of the things you need to do to a slash to put it in the bodies is you have to buy the back end basically uh off the bandit to make it narrow okay so i was like well if i got you that i might as well start off with a bandit and i didn't really want the vxl uh esc and motor kit so i was like why well, spend the money for the vxl and i wanted to build it up myself and get each part I want it myself. Um, and as things break, I'll just replace them. But right now, um, I'm using most of the plastic parts from the basic bandit. I think I paid like one fifty nine or something more, one seventy nine and something. It's really cheap. I get the information for you guys. I'll post it up on the screen how much I paid for it. So let me tell you what I've done so far with this bandit. So again, I did keep the back end. The gearing is the same. I did screw my differential all the way down so it's tight. Um, I have not yet added a motor to it yet in the ESC, but that's coming. Um, I did add the Proline um, body mount kit, which is really nice. Um, you have to add some sort of body mount kit because the uh, the uh, Bandit does not have tall enough body mounts uh, for a big body. So you definitely have to do that. So whatever you choose, I chose to get the Proline ones. Um, I did put, um, I haven't cut my rear yet. I'm sure I'm going to have to cut this. Um, but right now, I'm leaving it stock length uh, until I put my mount my body. Um, the front... <laughs> What I did was, um, through my research and stuff, I decided to mount my front upside down because um, a lot of the bodies are low. So I mounted the, the I mounted the Proline fronts upside down and still put the body mount post on it. So that's going to be a little different as well. Um, also, what I did in the back for my shocks, I put my shocks almost vertical. Um, in the back so you can almost go up and down, strip and down. So I did do that. I put a, a few spacers in this. Um, two of the big spacers I put in the back and then one small spacer. Um, the front I left, you know, stock. So I did that. I also put the LCG um, chassis kit on here. Um, you don't have to go this route, but most people are using the LCG kit with the uh, bandit slash slash um, builds. So I did get that. Um, as you can see, 
I did already put the Proline uh, tires on here, front and back. Um, these are these rims are not Proline. These are different company rims. Uh, I'll get to, I'll post these up for you guys uh, too. What kind of rims I got? I wanted black rims, but I did like the way I just like the way the Proline wheels look, the slicks. So I got that. Um, and I didn't do anything else to this. Took me about half an hour, hour to put all this together so far. It was really straightforward, easy. Again, this is just going to be a quick, you know, multiple step process because I'm ordering things as um, I decide on what to add into this. Um, I'm going to go in the in the limited class so i'm not going to be in the open class where you can just go all out and just it's a money dump i hate like the modified open classes of rc because i'm in this to have fun not in this to be professional i'm in this to just enjoy myself so i don't have to turn a car that's supposed to be you know an inexpensive bill into a five thousand dollar you know drag car you know the the wheels and tires probably cost me 40 50 bucks you know combined same thing for the fronts you know this is going to be a cheap build like if you guys want to know each price as i go up um i can post that to you guys as well now i did get um i ordered a body for it it's coming in and um, that's going to be on the next the next video i post I'm going to uh, mount the body and paint the body. Um, I do have a receiver for this, and I'll pr I'm thinking about putting either uh, Hobby Wing Max 8 or Max 10 into it. One of those two. Uh, I think I have both of those, in, you know, new inboxes laying around here somewhere. But I haven't yet figured out what motor I want to run um, right now. I uh, I'm still using the stock servo for steering. Um, I was considering putting the aluminum uh, steering bell crank, I think you call it in. Uh, I decided to just stay with the plastic for right now until it changes. You know, aluminum does add weight and I don't want to add weight because I want to keep this as light as possible. Um, yeah, I don't want this to be super heavy. Right, as my fact, I was considering doing, I saw a mod on on the internet somewhere where they didn't even have shocks for the front. They just had like a, a straight, um, uh, like a pole that's, that didn't go up and down. It just kept the wheels at a certain spot. So I'm not sure, I, when, once I get to that point, I will um, show you guys. But again, you know, this is gonna be my no prep dragster for fun i'll show you guys every step i go along the way um i did again i didn't show you the, up to this point because it's just so basic so again if you want to get to where i'm at here you get yourself a, a low cylinder gravity chassis kit get like 30 40 bucks um you get yourself you know some decent you know drag tires as a matter of fact if you want you can almost use the front banded tires because it doesn't really make a difference because it, it, it's not really going to be used much besides the keeper straight. Um, I've seen people still use the banded front rims and tires, um, but then you got a bunch of different kinds of um, rear tires. These are not belted. Uh, I'm going to try these first and see how I like them. Um, but you figure I'm, I may have with the cost of the bandit um, I may have at this point maybe let's see maybe two fifty three hundred into this and again I'll list if you guys want I'll list what I, what I actually ordered in the description so you guys can follow me like that so again um, thanks for watching guys um, I'll be uh, update, updating this very soon.
because I think my body came in a day, so I'm probably going to be doing the body in a couple days. Um, so keep a watch out. And like, comment, subscribe, and share so you can see the next videos. And I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Peace from the Iceman.